Hi, welcome to the channel, The Magic of Math. Today, our video lesson is on interpreting graphs of proportional relationships. So we're gonna start right, dig right in, and here is our first graph. And this graph shows the speed of a subway car. I know that from the title. So the title tells me what this graph is about, what story it's gonna tell. And you're being asked to interpret the point one half one fourth, which we can travel down to our graph and see that that point is right here on our graph. Okay, so let's talk about interpret first. So if you know somebody who speaks a different language than you, they might need an interpreter if they lived in our country. So maybe they don't speak English and they need to go to the bank or they are somewhere and they need an interpreter to understand. Maybe it's a legal document, maybe they're in a grocery store, maybe they're in a restaurant, but they need somebody to interpret, to talk their language, to change our language into their language or make it understandable. Well, math is a language. Math is a language using numbers and symbols. So when I'm saying interpret this point, this is mathematical. This is a math language written right here. And when somebody looks at it, they may or may not understand what it is, but maybe they're not there yet. Maybe they haven't gone there and they're learning yet and that they don't understand what this means. So I'm asking you to be the math interpreter. So you are going to write a sentence that explains what this means. So let's go through the steps of what you would do here. First, let's break it down and understand that this is an ordered pair. And an ordered pair is an X coordinate, comma, Y coordinate, giving you a location on a graph. So you've been given the location X is one half and Y is one fourth. So we start at the origin, we go one half on the X axis and then up one fourth. And you can see we're right here at this point on the line. So now we need to interpret. We look at our X axis and realize that this is representing time in the unit minutes. So I know that X represents the number of minutes relative to the speed of a subway car. Then we talk about Y, and Y is represented on the Y axis, and it's distance the subway car goes in the unit miles. So I know that whatever value the Y coordinate is, is representing the amount of miles that the subway car has traveled. So now I know that Specifically, this point that I'm being asked to interpret is one half of a minute and one fourth of a mile. So now all I have left to do is write a sentence about this. So there's three key points that you should have in your sentence when you interpret an ordered pair on a graph. The title of your graph, the X coordinate, value and unit, and the Y coordinate, value, and unit. So here we go. The subway car travels one fourth of a mile in half of a minute. Okay, so this one is your turn. I would like you to pause this video and interpret the other point on this graph, three, one, and one half. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So here we go. I hope you have discovered that the three was minutes for the x-axis, the one and a half was miles for the y-axis, and here's my sentence. Using the title, the subway car travels one and a half miles in three minutes. Notice that my sentence starts with an uppercase letter capital and ends with a punctuation mark, a period. All right, try this one. Interpret this point on the graph. Go ahead and pause the video. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So interpreting this point, first I need to identify the location of that point. So I go over to 32. Remember you start at zero, zero, I go to the right to 32, that's my X coordinate, and then my Y coordinate is 2.40. So 
So labeling this, my x-axis, my x-coordinate is in miles, and my y-axis is the cost in dollars. So now I have my units, so my three parts. This is about traveling on the turnpike, going 32 miles, and a cost of $2.40. So here's my sentence. Traveling on the turnpike costs $2.40 to go 32 miles. Let's move on and add another layer to these graphs. So we're going to talk about proportional relationships. We want to identify if a graph shows a proportional relationship. So first, let's understand that all graphs show a relationship. You have an X and a Y, and that is a relationship between those two values. It is a proportional relationship if the line passes through the origin or begins at the origin. Remember, the origin is the ordered pair 0, 0. And again, we're looking to see if a graph starts at the origin, like physically touches the origin, or if it passes through. So here's an example. The graph of every proportional relationship is a line that passes through or begins at the origin. Remembering, this is the idea that we're using. I now want to know, does this graph of the subway car speed represent a proportional relationship? Yes or no? So go ahead and jot down your thought, yes or no. And here we go. Yes. Since the line begins at the origin, or passes through, however you want to phrase that, it starts here. Zero, zero is a point on the line. Therefore, this is a proportional relationship. How about this graph? We're talking about a helicopter, and over time, its height. What do you think? Proportional? Yes or no? Let's see how you did. This is not a proportional relationship because the graph never goes to the origin. The point zero, zero is not an ordered pair on this line. So this line starts at 0, 035 and travels all the way down to 7, 0. It will never touch 0, 0. And 0, 0 is not a point on the line. Therefore, it's still a relationship between seconds and meters, but it's not a proportional relationship. Try this one. What do you think? Does the graph of the turnpike travel represent a proportional relationship? The answer is yes. Since the line begins at 0, 0, 0, 0 is a point on the line. If I go 0 miles, the turnpike cost is $0. Therefore, this is a proportional relationship. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today, and I wonder, can you interpret a graph? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and receive, click on the bell to receive notifications so that you can hear about future videos.